The fire at Farrell's in Madisonville, which temporarily closed the popular and historic restaurant, left many without their favorite spot for a burger. So what are their customers doing while the restaurant rebuilds? Eyewitness News' Mike Pickett went to find out for the, from the Owensboro Newsroom. For nearly nine decades, Farrell's served the burgers and memories. When I first met my wife, that's where we all just go get burgers from. My son ate there regularly. It was part of his uh, weekly routine. The serving stopped when the grease fire hit three weeks ago, leaving them without those famous hamburgers. I was pretty devastated. It's so sad to, to see it now. It was historically, it has been part of our lives in Hopkins County for many years. To pass the time until it's reopening, some like Nick Atanoa wait. Well, since Barrett Ferris burned down now, so I have to stay home. My family cook burgers for me. Owner Scott Harris says others are calling and texting him, anxious for its reopening, which he hopes happens before the new year. Phone calls, texts, Facebook messages, you know, we're starving to death, we've lost 10 pounds, you know, hurry up, please. Will you go to Katie's or Hopkinsville and bring us back a load of burgers? While some of Farrell's customers are playing the waiting game, waiting for their favorite place to reopen to get another taste of those burgers, Others can't wait and are going to another place with a familiar name. This ketchup and onion. Miranda Mertz of Farrell's and Hopkinsville says some Madisonville customers make the 35 minute drive to this restaurant. I've seen quite a few regulars that I haven't seen in two years that have came down here. Asking for burgers and about Farrell's future and future look. I even heard that some of the customers have requested the green tiles on the wall again, so maybe they'll do that. I'm sure as soon as they open, it's going to be packed. They'll probably have a line out the door. Mike Pickett, Eyewitness News.